All right, guys, so let's talk about using milk thistle if you're diabetic. Can it be helpful? What do the studies show? What's the feedback from people? I want to touch on that in this video. So starting out, we have a meta-analysis. So they looked at a number of different studies, like seven different studies. All together, they had 1,400 patients, and they were type 2 diabetics. And what they did is that milk thistle, one of the ingredients in the seeds is called silymarin, and that's kind of the active ingredient in it that they were looking at, and they gave these folks standardized extract, and it ranged anywhere from 210 to 600 milligrams a day, and they gave that either alone or in combination with another product, and I'll talk about that in a second. And they gave it to these folks daily for at least five months, and at the end of those five months, what they found was promising, which was they saw a decrease in the fasting blood glucose. They also saw a decrease in the hemoglobin A1C, which is kind of our hallmark things we're looking at. When you want to look at how well a diabetic is controlled, we're going to look at their A1C and their fasting blood glucose. So those things were improved versus the placebo. So that's a good thing. One of the kind of interesting things I think that they found is that they actually saw better results for the folks who were treated three months or less versus people who were treated long term. They saw improvements in both groups, but better improvement at three months or less versus going longer than three months. So something for you and your doctor to keep in mind. So basically what this was showing is that, yeah, it was not only effective, but it appeared to be pretty safe as well for patients with diabetes, as well as hyperlipidemia. And that um, is something I'll talk about here real quick. But first, I want to touch on side effects. Uh, it appears to be well tolerated in the studies. If there were going to be side effects, they saw some mild sort of stomach type things. They had bloating, gas, upset stomach. In the study, the side effects did not occur more than the people who were just taking a sugar pill. So, you know, at, based off the evidence we have as far as looking at it for diabetics, it appears to be pretty well tolerated. Um, the combo product, jumping back to the study, because remember, you can look at silymarin, which is the main ingredient in milk thistle, or they had other ingredients with it. The other ingredient that was with it was berberine, which is five to hunt, five to a thousand milligrams, along with silymarin, one hundred and five to two hundred and ten milligrams. So that product was berberol. But the reason I want to bring that up is that it, it this berberol product, that's where they saw the improvements with the hyperlipidemia. But bottom line is the silymarin did appear to help with these diabetic folks. So overall, my thoughts on using milk thistle for diabetes. Um, it does show promise. I mean, um, not only did the study show promise, I have read about people who have experienced, a, so example, case studies of people who've seen some benefit, benefit, excuse me, with milk thistle. So I think it's promising. I think it's something worth looking at. Also remember there can be drug interactions. I'm not going to go into individual drug interactions because there's a few in your pharmacist will need to look at those and compare milk thistle to what you're taking. So don't just rush out there and do it. Definitely talk to your doctor first. But again, it does show promise in the side effect profile, at least in the studies, um, it wasn't too bad. So that's my two cents on it. I'll put links to the products they used uh, in the description as well, but probably something we're talking to your doctor about. Uh, and if you've tried it before, let me know in the comments. Um, I enjoy hearing those comments, seeing, you know, what kind of results you got or did not get, side effects, those sorts of things. And other people that watch the video read those comments, it's helpful for them too. So speaking of which, hope this video was helpful, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.